Hello, Game Now is back. And in this video, we're going to showcase the new T-Rex Mythical Fruit as well as compare it to the previous Mythical Kitsune Fruit in Blast Fruits. For start, make sure you support basic Star Code Gamer Nom and purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. And one more thing, I created a Twitter account, so make sure to follow that for future updates and giveaways. Where the actor slam! Oh, they're dancing forward! There's your slam! There's the dump! Okay, so before we start, guys, Merry Christmas. But first, what are your thoughts on the previous fruit, the mythical Kitsune fruit? Is it good? Is it uh, mid or is it bad? Again, for the price of 4,000 Robux. Also, in this upcoming Christmas update, we'll be having the present event ba back. So every hour, you can get a present on this island, Sea of Treats. And also, we can repair ships now. But most importantly, we have a new fruit, the T-Rex fruit. So we're going to showcase it. But first, credits to Gamer Robot. Yeah, most of the clips that I will be using is from one of his videos. Okay, so make sure to subscribe, Gamer Robot. And again, guys, the T-Rex fruit. So our reference is X Drake from one of the supernovas in One Piece. There you go. Again, we will showcase the skills and compare it to the previous Kitsune fruit. So I will be giving you an idea here on whether buy the fruit or just stay with the Kitsune fruit. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the skills. We have same a number of skills with the Kitsune fruit as well as the Fury Meter. Most importantly, this fruit has M1 like the Kitsune fruit. Also, guys, this is a, a mythical fruit too. Mythical Zoan fruit, there you go, left clicks, okay. I think it's really good and it's really similar to Kitsune fruit. Oh, by the way, my approach on showcasing this one is I'm gonna start with the transformation because I will be showing you both the skills from the base and the transformation form. So here's the transformation. Also, do you notice the icon, dino icon on top? Guys, you can only uh, like activate this one when you're in dinosaur form. Also guys, check the name, let's appreciate it. It is called Reptilian Scales, not just uh, Transformation, Reptilian Scales. So there you go guys. Anyways, let's check the M1 of the Kitsune Fruit. It's really similar. If you just check it out, there you go. Also, for the icon, Dino Icon, for Kitsune Fruit, we have the burning effect, right? So you can only activate it at two or three tails. Base form or transform form, yeah, or Kitsune form, the same. That is the difference with the Dino Fruit. I think you can only activate the icon, Dino Icon, when you're transformed. Okay, that's the difference. See there, there you go. Burning effect. Merry Christmas, by the way, to everyone. If I haven't greeted you yet, there you go. Okay. So for the transformation, guys, it's also similar. There is damage. There you go. Better transformation so far for the new fruits compared to the previous ones. There you go. And yeah, there's a new dash. Also, I think the advantage of Kitsune Fruit is it can walk on water. But if you stop running, yeah, it will be damaged. Because you will sink. But if you have Shark Race, you won't have damage. Anyways, for the Z skill, Tail Swipe. There you go. Looking from the skill, I think this is a multi-target skill. But I'm not sure if it has good range. Also, one good thing is that you can aim this skill. Okay. For the transform form, there you go. More slashes. <laughs> Tail swipes, I mean. Also, you notice there's an icon now on top of the uh, enemy that you've damaged. There you go. Using the skill. So, guys, what do you think? Is this a good fruit for grinding? Hmm. Maybe if you're gonna compare it to Buddha now. Yeah, Buddha is still better because you can transform the moment you get the fruit. Imagine you need to more masteries in order to transform and take advantage of the transform form and the M1, right? Because I think this one has a larger or bigger hitbox if you're transformed. Anyways, for the Kitsune Fruit, we have the Accursed Enchantment. There you go, guys. So, the advantage with this skill is that it has two modes. One is you can hit the ground for uh, multi-target enemies or just use your Z skill, target one enemy for higher damage, okay? Okay, there you go. Transform form is this one. Boom. Boom. <laughs> what kind of sound effect is that? Boom. Anyways, multi-target. Yep. But the main damage uh, mob will take the most damage. Okay. Next skill is the predatory speech. So, I think this will just first pull your enemy towards you and then push it away. There you go. See that? Pull, pull, and push. <laughs> so... 
I think this one's really good for PvP, I guess. Yeah. The moment you pull your enemy towards you, you can shift to other... Oh, I don't know if you can use like uh, other items during transformation, which is highly unlikely. I doubt. So you need to do it on human form if you want to incorporate it with your combos. There you go, for the transform form. Okay. As again, notice the icon on top of your character every time you use your skill. There you go. Okay. So next up, guys, for uh, let's compare it to the Kitsune Fruit, right? X skill. Tales of Burning Agony. The Sonic skill. There you go. So what I like with this fruit is it is multi-target. Uh, most likely, it's the same with the Tears Fruit. But check the range out. The range is really important for me to avoid getting damage. There you go. Okay, this is Transform Form. Not that one. This is M1. There you go. Also, the main target will uh, be inflicted with the most damage. Next up, guys, Hunter's Rage. C skill at mastery 100. There you go. And you will be launching forward. So, so far, guys, if you're gonna compare the two fruits, I will still choose the Kitsune fruit. But don't worry, I will be posting a Noob to Pro video with this fruit. So, yeah, I'll still be buying and using it. This is the transform form. There you go. C skill. Yeah, I like the way that you will grab your enemy using your mouth and yeah, hit the ground with it. But if you notice, guys, uh, I've noticed. Oh, sorry, sorry. I've noticed some comments regarding the skills. Now are just lunging forward, uh, pulling the enemies, hitting it on the ground. Yeah, they're almost similar. The answer to that is, guys, because we're uh, focusing on Zoan type fruit or beast fruits. Yeah, these fruits will most likely have close combat attacks. I hope that explains that. For the Kitsune Fruit, we have the Fox Fire Disruption. Bijudama Ball. Bijudama Ball. What? Bijudama. There you go. And I think we're almost done with the showcase. So guys, what's your handa? Anong handa nyo guys sa Christmas? Comment nyo sa comment section. Last skill is the Gigantic Leap. But uh, you need 200 Master here for transformation. You need 300, okay? There you go, guys. Similar to the one of the skills of the long sword, the X skill of the long sword, I guess, or the Z skill. Yeah. You have a uh, projectile skill. There you go. Okay. Is it good? Yeah, I think it's. I don't know, guys. Mid maybe. <laughs> but again, it's a Zoan fruit. Most likely, we will be focusing on the M1. Yeah, that's the most important thing. And if you have M1 on your fruit, you can really grind faster. There you go, transform form. And as we all know, you also have an F skill on the Kitsune Fruit. And yeah, it's kind of similar in a way. But in terms of effects, I think, and your damage, if you're just gonna base it on the looks, I think Terex is better. <laughs> looks, eh. Binasi sa tingin, guys. Okay. There you go. So, M1. Oh, I just noticed that the M1 of the transform form is really good. See that, guys? Oh, let's not forget. This also has its own dash and jump. I'm gonna show it to you later, but first, the kids in the fruit. There you go, Wild Assault F skill. There you go, single target. Not much damage. Oh, but still, the damage of that is higher to the transformation, so yeah. Transform form, there you go. And for the dash of, there you go, here's the dash. See that? <laughs> Imagine a TX can dash. So I think that's it for this video. See you on this upcoming update. Again, guys, Merry Christmas. Bye bye.